Hey, what's up, guys? No Rage here, and I just wanted to uh, sort of connect with you guys because I wasn't able to stream too much this weekend, and I probably, well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see how things go, might not be able to stream too much in the coming days because I got a little bit of a cold coming on. I can feel it, you know, coming at me, and I'm like, ah, uh -huh, this is going to be bad. But uh, hopefully, maybe, maybe, I can, maybe I can weather through the worst of it and just, you know, push on through. We'll see. But I wanted to connect with you anyway and uh, let you know what I was up to this weekend and maybe what I'm going to be up to later this week just in case I can't stream or make any videos because my voice goes dead. Anyway, uh, this weekend, huge weekend for any Marvel fans, Daredevil. Daredevil on Netflix, freaking amazing, guys. If you do not have Netflix, you need to get it. If you have Netflix, you need to watch this show. It's amazing, and uh, by the end of episode two, I think you will be absolutely hooked. The fight scene at the end of that episode, oh man. I don't think it's spoilerish to say so, but it's probably one of the best fight scenes I have seen in TV in the past, oh, I don't even know, man. It's just, it's been forever since I've seen a fight scene that good on TV. The next thing that I was up to this weekend Game of Thrones premiere, watching a lot of that. Uh, between that and watching Daredevil, I just I haven't actually been playing that many games this weekend. When I was playing games, though, I was playing uh, a little bit of Diablo 3 Season 3. I got my wizard up to cap, and my wizard's kicking some ass. Kicking some ass. Uh, I'm rocking a um, Taurasha's, I think it is, build. And, you know, so he goes through just like casting all kinds of different elements, spells, and um, having procs on those different elements for meteors to drop. It's, it's great. It's so much fun. And the next thing I want to talk about is Tamriel Unlimited, ESO, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. They have invited any beta testers, myself included, well, not any, but select beta testers, back for a sort of, hey, this is what's happened, uh, come check out the game again kind of weekend. They're calling it the Welcome Back Weekend. And you you may know that ESO recently went uh, buy-to-play, I think it is. They dropped the subscription model where you had, to, you had to buy the game and then you had to also pay a monthly sub. They dropped the monthly sub. You still have to buy the game and it's still got that $60 price tag, which is pretty hefty. But I'm going to be checking it out in this Welcome Back weekend and see if maybe it's worth trying to find a deal on and uh, pick it up for maybe 40 bucks instead of 60 bucks if I can find it somewhere about that price. Uh, we'll see. So... It's going to end up, the payment model, probably a little bit like um, Guild Wars 2, if you guys remember that game. How you just buy it, and then you play it for as long as you want. Uh, I like this kind of payment model, and I like I liked what I played during the beta of Elder Scrolls. And I also have heard from numerous players that have been playing it, you know, all, all through, that it has come a long way from where it was when it launched. Because there was a lot of bad publicity and or bad reviews and whatnot um, around the launch of the game. Like, it wasn't living up to what people wanted it to be. Uh, but apparently it's come a long way, and I want to see how far it has come. In fact, I think it was it was neck and neck, neck, and neck with Marvel Heroes on a, I think, MMORPG uh, best game improved games of 2014 or something like that. Marvel Heroes came out ahead, which we all know very, very well deserved there. But if Elder Scrolls was giving them that much of a run for their money, I gotta check this game out. So, they're giving me a free weekend. I'm gonna do some of that. And that's gonna be fun. And the next thing that's going on with the stream or channel or what have you is I'm getting a new headset. I have purchased a Logitech G930. Um, I've been looking for a decent headset and shopping around trying to find the right thing to uh, pick up. And I think this is going to work out. It's a wireless headset. It's uh, got a cord for when I need it, when I want to plug it up so that it can charge the battery while I'm using it. And then I can you know, take that cord out and have the freedom of a wireless headset and all that jazz. Uh, in addition, the sound quality will hopefully be better than this way too old uh, headset that I've got right now. I mean, there's cracks in the cords on this one. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hopefully that will improve the sound quality here on YouTube and on uh, Twitch as well during the streams. 
that's about it that's going on with me. Um, what have you guys been up to this weekend, and what are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, have a good one, peace.